Hello everybody, my name is Little Mouse, and, um, I know it's been a while, and you may be wondering why it's up here, with the truck. Um, what we did was we pulled it up with the truck over there, and then we had to use a, um, ratchet and chains to pull it the rest of the way. So, I know I haven't. Um, so anyways, what we did was we unbolted the um, front mount, the front motor mount. Right here there's two mounts, and we also unbolted right here. Um, we don't know how the uh, drive shaft is going to slip out of here, out of the transmission. We don't know if it's going to slip out, we're going to have to unbolt anything. Um, so I guess really... Yeah. Also, we don't have a pull for the engine lift right now. So right now my dad is going to be hooking up um, the Want engine lift to the chain. Huh? Jack, jack on the handle. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I just jacked it up so that it won't fall, the hook won't unconnect there. Now my dad's going to try and do this without a uh, pull. Yeah, it's too hard to do that. So we're going to find a uh, pull now. See you in a moment. You know, actually, I'll just give you a quick peek of the truck right now. You can see the uh, tires here. And the gearbox right there, um, rear gears. Anyway, also, the funny thing is that while we were pulling it up the hill, the counter shaft kept shifting it into gear, so it would just stop. And my dad kept having to mess with the counter shaft to get it to stop coming into gear. Eventually, he got it figured out, and yeah. Also, there's this little washer, I don't know what it's for. So I'm just gonna put it back where it was. Um, this is the jack we used. Up. Oh, seems my dad has found a pole. So, yep. Guess it's time. Oh, that's an extension. Mm -hmm. Yep. Improvise. And maybe you should use the thicker end in there. Or not. Well, that seems to be working, because look at that. It's raising. Whoa. It's... Seems like it's lifting up the drive shaft as well. Mm. Although it is sliding out, I think. What we might have to do is take the chain, pump, hook it around the back of the truck like we had it, and yeah. pull the chassis back. While we lift the motor up. Okay. So, come along. Okay, I'm hooking the. Come along. <coughs> we already got the chain on the tree. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, hold it straight. What's, what's your code name? Little Mouse. This is Little Mouse's 1941 Chevy truck he's restoring right now. And apparently, as you can see, and as you've seen in the past, it needs a lot of work. Right now, we're lifting the motor up, and Little Mouse right now is hooking up the chain fault so we can pull the chassis out from under the motor against with a tree. And hopefully, it'll work out as we plan it to. I'm not sure if it will happen or not. Or I'm not sure how the yoke and the drive shaft mate together on the transmission. It might slide out, and we might have to unbolt the training. We're not sure, but we'll see. Take up, take up as much slack with that with that as you can, so you're not ratcheting it all up, Brian. Huh? Should try to tighten the chain up a little more, so that you're not going to ratchet up the all the cable for the come along. This 
letting you know you said my actual name on video. Okay. Little mouse. Oops. Should I keep going? Okay, yep, yeah. keep going. Okay, that's good right there. Here, I'm going to take your... Okay. Because I think we have to raise it up higher now. Yeah, the um, drive shaft's just sliding right out. Uh oh, oh god. That's moving a little. Yeah, now slide. You gotta go with the chain pump. Now go over and chain pump. You can put a pause on or whatever. Actually, you can't. It. Can you just hold this? Okay, and go pull the motor, pull it back more. Okay. The truck just moved on us a little bit the way we didn't want it to, so now we're gonna try to prevent that from happening again. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Brian. Yep. And Little mouse, whatever. Okay, we gotta get a crowbar. Crowbar? Okay. Here, you're gonna have to hold this now. Right now, we got a problem with it hanging up right here on a little bracket, a pan, and the transmission. You might be able to see it there. We gotta raise it up here. just freed itself it's free now it's a free motor okay. the drive shaft no longer feels like sliding out okay now go back over and start chain faulting okay here I'll hold this Holding a drive shaft. I wonder it what. Pinched. Oh. And as you can see, there's a knuckle in the yoke where the yoke can move around. That's why it was pinched by the knuckle. Yeah, I see that. Okay, now, I'm going to slide the shaft you back if you want to bring it in the mouth. Okay. I'll just bring the camera this time to avoid confusion. Dad, remember that rock that was stuck in the ground? Well, the tire's about to get caught on it. Okay. So as you can see, when our truck flopped, the Jacksons got caught.
Wow, that's weird. We burst a line back here somehow. Right on the line here, it's got water or fluid. I'm surprised this still has food in it. Come over. Okay. Okay, we're running out of slack here on the ratchet. Or, I don't know what you would call this. Come along, yeah, that's what. Hey, we're running out of slack on the come along. Okay. Release it. Release it, okay. Hey, this is hard to do with one hand. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna head it. Okay, I gotta do something. Here's a close look at the gearbox. Here we go. Uh, some kind of nut. Let's see how I know it. Okay, that's off. Okay, I'm gonna come out of the back now. Let's see if I make it. Whoa, I made it. You made it. Scoop me. Just gotta my battery here. Well, for this video, that's really that. Um, I hope you join us next time on the episode of Junior Motor Show. Um, I don't know when, actually, for once. So anyways, thank you and goodbye.